G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor based in Melbourne, Australia, covering the Asia Pacific region. Today I wanted to give you a demonstration of Big Fix Insights for Vulnerability Remediation. Sometimes it's also referred to as IVR, and just show you how it works. Now this capability was developed to solve a real world problem that our customers had. Lots of customers had vulnerability tools like Tenable or, or Qualys or Rapid7. And typically how that's worked is that the security team will run a particular scan and then they'll jump into those tool sets and they'll pull down a CSV file and they'll bring that into Excel and put some filters on it and, and make some determinations about what particular vulnerabilities they want to see closed. Then what happens in, in you know the wild, in, in, in the real world, is that gets handed over to the poor old operations team to make a decision about what they're going to do. Now, you know, the larger the organization, the more complex it becomes and certainly the more um, different towers that you have with different operations teams. So you can see in this example here, we've got Apple people and, and Windows people and, and Linux people. You may even, you know, have in, in the larger environments, you know, you'll have Windows Server and Windows End User Computing Teams and things like that. And they'll all get a copy of this spreadsheet and they have to then go and work out what patch closes that particular vulnerability. And then if they have to package things up, it can take, you know, some time before you actually get out. It can be weeks to months before you're actually rolling these particular patches out. So what we've done here at HCL Software with Big Fix is to create an integration between these particular tool sets, which has a correlation engine that automatically matches these particular um, vulnerabilities to the patches, which cuts down on the time, you know, to remediate, which means that you can reduce your um, attack surface quicker and reduce your risk and also reduce your cost, right? Because if you've got, let's just say, a thousand vulnerabilities a month that you're looking after and it took your best effort two minutes to match each vulnerability, that's 33 hours worth of man effort you're going to save there. So let's have a look at how this actually works in the real life. So there's two ways in which we work with our um, vulnerability assessment tool. Um, the first one is integration directly with the Rapid7, Qualys or Tenable environments. And that's where they're automatically um, being read and matched. So I'll show you that way first. So here in our Big Fix web UI, we can go down to our IVR application. And here in my environment, I'm actually configured with a Tenable instance. So you can see I say Tenable vulnerability here. Now, I can have a look at the dashboard here and it's showing me the information coming directly from Tenable. I can have a look at the VPR rating, which you know is a benefit that I get from Tenable, which classifies these particular vulnerabilities based off what Tenable ranks them as. And I can go through and, and click on any of these particular dashboard settings here and you can see it automatically updates my table. And I can come down here and also update the table here and I'll see that my dashboard updates as well. But the real magic source here is the fact that it just does the matching of the vulnerabilities to the patches instantly. So we can see here all of these green columns are all the information that I've got from Tenable and that's all being matched um, with our patches. So again, we're looking at the vulnerability, right? Not the patch, which we traditionally do with Big Fix. So if I just pick, let's just pick these two vulnerabilities here. And if I click remediate here, it's going to instantly match those particular vulnerabilities to the patches. So you can see here it's found 54 patches for those two vulnerabilities that I selected instantly. So it really is saving a lot of um, man hours of effort to, to try and match stuff because it's doing it automatically. What's more, unlike a Tenable, which is a point in time scam, Big Fix is continuously evaluating with its near real time assessment of content. So I can come here and I can filter out with confidence and say, show me patches that have got at least one or more particular device that needs that patch. So that um, 54 patches has now dropped down to 12 distinct patches that I need to deploy 
to close out those two vulnerabilities. So I can give my um, job here a name and I can say my top two vulnerabilities and then I can select all of the patches that I want here. And then I can click next. And here I've now got all of the patches showing. You can see here I've got an exclamation point here just to say that this particular um, fix slip doesn't have a default action. So I'm just going to select the default action which will enable mitigation without disabling hyper threading. Then I can click next. And now I've got 43 devices, so I'm just going to put 100 per page here. I can select all the devices that are affected by this. Click Next. And I'm now at that particular window where we can deploy. So I can obviously kick things off straight away and go, right, let's go and patch right now. But, but I might have a change window tonight. And I might want to also plan it and make sure that the patches are um, pre-cached out to my environment. So... I can put in, you know, my change window time. So let's make sure it's 11 p.m. tonight. And I'm going to say download the patches before the deployment starts. So that way we're going to get all the patches sitting on the endpoint ready to go. Um, I may also say, you know what, start over a four hour period. Um, so stagger start over a four hour period. So if we had a whole stack of endpoints that were sitting, you know, on the same local switch, as an example, they don't all go and overwhelm that switch at once to go to the relay to pull down their patches. They'll randomize automatically over that four hour window. And then, you know, I've also got a um, reboot that I want to do. So I'm going to actually put the reboot in here. And depending on the type of machines that I'm doing, if I'm doing end user computing, I might give them a day's deadline and they'll get a prompt which will, you know, say you need to reboot and provide the message that's here and they can snooze a number of times or if I'm doing server um, devices which have got no endpoint or sorry, no user logged in, I'll just set a, a deadline of one minute and click deploy and that's really all there is to that. I've now set up my job to kick off at 11 o'clock tonight to go and deploy these patches to these systems and um, it will cache that content down and do it at that particular time. And that's how we deal with our um, IVR capability and matching our patches to our vulnerabilities instantly. Okay, the other way that we can use IVR is with our integration or our ability to be able to import CSV files. So this is another environment I've got access to. I'm going to once again go to the IVR application here. And this one's using Rapid7, whereas the one I was showing before was using Tenable. Now we actually have an import data um, tab here. So this is automatically getting imported by Rapid7, but I can come along here and go import data and you can see here we've got our um, various uh, vulnerability assessment tools. And I can select a particular vulnerability assessment tool here. And then I can put a file in here. So I've got a CSV file for Rapid7, which, oops, if I can click correctly, I can import. And this allows me to be able to... Um, choose which particular fields I want to import. So I'm going to have to select which is the header rows. So obviously the one that says vulnerability title, vulnerability tags, that's my header row. So I'll click that and click next. And then I just have to match up um, three of these key columns here, which have got the asterisks on them. So my ID is my vulnerability ID, which is good. My vulnerability name is actually vulnerability title, which is good again. And CVEs is vulnerability CVE IDs. So that looks all good from what I need to do here. So I can click next. And it gives us a bit of a preview here as to what the data looks like. So that's all good. 
So I'm going to click next here and it's going to import this information. Okay, so once the data has been imported, we can work directly off that data just like we did before. We can choose what vulnerabilities we want to go and close out and we click remediate and we go through the same process of that automatic patching and everything else. The um, data that we're working with here with the CSV is completely independent of the data that we have on our um, service that's hitting the API that's pulling back the information. So um, we can work on the two independently from each other and still do the remediation capabilities that we need. So as you can see, Big Fix Insights for Vulnerability Remediation provides a, a real-world solution in helping match those vulnerabilities that you've got two patches automatically to help um, reduce your cost, reduce your risk and um, improve your security posture. So that's all that I have for this video today. If you want to scan this QR code here, this is a great landing page that we have at Big Fix to help you um, find everything in just one particular uh, location. So we've got all of our social media links there we have all our links to our um, free training that we provide online as well as details of um, professional certification and our youtube channel which this is on as well as um, documentation resources raising support tickets and things like that so familiarize yourself with this url it's a great one-stop landing page to help you with your big fix success in long term. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.